wicked old man metal here. Welcome to my show. I'm cleaning up the garage, making room for you new viewers out there. I was waiting to get this old bastard. And I'm glad you guys are here. So let's kick things off with some news. Well, kids, it seems like once again, New Jersey thrash metal artist Whiplash are back in the news. They are in the midst of recording their new album, Unborn Again. And if you would like to check out a song and see video footage of them in the studio, you can go to their MySpace site, or you can go to Old Man Metal's MySpace site and click on the link. Either one will be at the end of the show, okay? Well, kids, today Old Man Metal's going to talk to you a little about a band called Guar. That is G-W-A-R. In this band, we have five main members. Odorous Urungus, Ballsack, the Jaws of Death, Flatus Maximus, Jismac the Gusha, and Beefcake the Mighty. And aside from them putting on a kick-ass show and having great tunes, Old Man Metal loves this philosophy about this band. I don't want to blow the Santa Claus surprise for you kids, but these, this band is not from outer space. Okay, there's people inside those costumes. And since nobody knows who they really are, this could be the oldest band in the history of the world. This band could go on indefinitely. That is just kick ass. If you would like to know more about them, you can go to guar.net and check them out. And I would like to thank Fabio for his suggestion. And now kids, you know what time we're coming to. Now hold your pants. It's Old Man Metal's favorite part of the show. Answering your emails. And I got one right here. Andy the goat has asked another question of Old Man Metal. And he writes, Old Man Metal, you've talked a lot about thrash metal, but is there any other forms of metal which you like? And what are your feelings about black metal? Well, Andy, that's a great question. I don't know if you would consider them black metal, Andy, but Old Man Metal likes Candle Mass and Early Celtic Frost. Those are two things that are on his iPod now. I did enjoy a band called Deicide back in the day. And that question comes from Andy, who lives in Norway, where black metal is running rampant and they're burning old churches and crap like that over there. Which old man metal really doesn't think it's necessary. Here's what I don't understand about black metal. You want to do evil amongst other people and then you're killing your band members. It doesn't make any sense to old man metal. You know, that's how Satan works. But hey, the music sometimes it kicks ass. You know what I'm saying? Old man metal would like to get the hot chicks in metal. But he'd like to clear a few things up first. I made a mistake. I know it's hard to believe, but I did. Back when I was talking about Masters of Metal, my good buddy CJ from Skull Shifter pointed it out to me. I said Tommy Iommi when I meant Tony Iommi, all right? Old Man Metal is old, and don't forget that. And if you would like to check out more from Skull Shifter, you can go to their website, which is right here. He just got out of the studio, unleashed a new CD on the world, and you should check it out. It kicks freaking ass. Also, Ariel Bourne, I guess he's a relative of Jason Bourne, pointed out that I made a mistake in saying one of the second best things to come out of Germany, besides Heineken, was a band. Well, he pointed out that I made a fatal flaw. Fatal flaw. That Heineken is Dutch beer. Now, Old Man Metal is stuck here in New Jersey. How the hell am I supposed to know it? You know? I walk down the street and I get Newark, uh, New Jersey uh, beer. Budweiser, you know? The 40 ounces of Cobra where they sell a freaking 40 ounce in a bag at the same time. I mean, come on. And thank you for pointing that out, kids. I'll try to stay on top of things. And now, kids, it's time for Hot Chicks in Metal! Yeah. Today's 
hot chick in metal is a girl named Karen. Karen Crisis. Now let me tell you, if you kids aren't sitting down, sit down. The first time Old Man Metal heard this girl's voice, he said, Marry me, because you could yell at me 24-7 like that. Now, Karen Crisis was in a band called Crisis. I don't know how they came up with that name. One of their best albums Old Man Metal will tell you about and tell you to go get is Death's Head Extermination. This album has a couple of good tunes on it. One of them's called Bloodlines. And I think Karen Crisis is one of the first chicks to step outside the box, to sing in a freaking thrash death metal band and say, yeah, I'm a chick, but I've come for your soul. Joe Rockhead, if you got a question or a comment, you go to OMM at browndish.com and I'll do my best to answer your question and reply to your emails. Anyway, that I can. All right, kids, next week I'm going to be in Vegas for a couple of days. So there might be a gap between episodes. If I hit, there might be a few more gaps. If I really hit big, I'm showing up at every one of your homes. And I'm going to say, hey, here's a couple of CDs. So be good, don't eat too much, and stay tuned. Because there's a lot more to come. Until next time, this is Old Man Metal saying, Thresh on! And remember, with Old Man Metal, you always have two choices. You can get out, or you can get the hell out!